Uh, you can do this in any game engine. You don't actually have to use uh, GDevelop for this. We just like GDevelop because it's free. If you don't have GDevelop, download it. The link is under the description below. Okay, so let's get started. Basically, when Mega Man acquires a new power, he can change colors. But they don't actually change the uh, sprite. What they do is just change specific colors in certain parts of Mega Man. And that's what we're going to do today. Except we're going to use a uh, Mario. I mean, Super Jumper. He looks like Mario, but he's not Mario. Uh, how do we do this? Uh, it's actually quite simple. Let me just uh, go to events here. Run this first and show you that uh, if you run this, nothing happens. You can jump. If you don't have this example, check out my series about uh, how to create a game on zero budget. It's actually super simple. Okay, so let's go to events and uh, let's add a new event and don't add an event just add an action so we're simply going to change the sprite color effects uh, global color select like the object and uh, we want them to be I think you have to use our quotations so we're gonna go with zero 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 okay that stands for red green and blue so that's a uh, zero or red zero green and zero or blue that's going to give you black wah, wah, wah. it's a good effect okay now if you wanted the opposite you set it to uh, 255 which will give you your original color there you go So that works fine so which means that uh, you can uh, now if you went to Photoshop you double click on this here you can see that uh, you can select colors let me select uh, some sort of green this kind of try this blue here okay now to make this blue in RGB you need zero red 153 of green and 255 of blue so 153 so you need 153 of blue a green sorry 153 255 of um, um, blue and zero of uh, red okay and that's what you get also <laughs> some sort of blue uh, but it's blending with the uh, the color that Mario originally has there. Let's try and make them red. Of course, that's going to be 255 or red. 255 or red. 255. Zero of um, the rest of the colors. And we get red. And if you want this to be completely blue, you go 255 of um, blue. And zero of the rest. There you go. And like I said, it combines with whatever color you have there. So, uh, but that doesn't solve our Mega Man problem. That changes the entire sprite. We want to target certain areas of the sprite. And that's where the Sparkman comes in. So, to do that, uh, we are going to simply separate the colors. Not here but in the Adobe Photoshop or any other application you guys, you guys want to use so I only have two sprites to change so let me just um, let me just add in a sprite here and um, let me open this one here in the Photoshop as I mentioned you don't have to use Photoshop guys you can use whatever you like okay so this is our normal sprite we're going to separate uh, the colors here the original let me just call it original not that I'm going to get confused this will be um, this will be what orange is it orange or red okay so we need to separate the color select it oops shift selected and we're going to cut it Okay, let's paste it. It's going to give us a new layer. Now we have to make this white. There we go. 
there's our first color now we're gonna separate uh, this uh, the other color oh. I'll separate the other color this color here cut it and paste it I think you can paste in place but um, I'm not sure so this would be his shirt and this would be pants and hat and we're almost done because we have to um, uh, export this we're gonna call this um, just call it a uh, pants and hat this will be the shirt okay and I think you kind of can figure out where we're going with this all right so I have nothing to do with this so we close this and we are going to create an audit object new sprite and um, add animation so the first animation is going to be just pants and hat Okay, let me call this something else. Rename it to Pants. Pants. That's it. The other one will be... Um, the shirt. Apply. So we want to place this uh, on top of our character, okay? So let me find an always here, like here. Now, if you don't see a condition, that means that that's going to keep happening, okay? So maybe I just add it to the bottom here. Set object position, object uh, position. Put an object around another object. I want to put um, pants center to super jump distance zero and no angles so if you run this you can see that uh, that works fine let me remove the, uh, the color set that to 255 again Oh, 233 is 255 my friend 255 and there is our character except for he has that animation there <laughs> we'll fix that after I just want to show you what see if we have time to change all the animations I just want to show you one um, now let's do the shirt rename to shirt so let's uh, do the same thing. Let me just copy this here. Instead of, instead of pants, it will be the shirt. And uh, of course, we have to place the shirt on the screen. There you go. Of course, you have to change the animations. I forgot the shirt has to be white. Sorry about that. I forgot. Okay, let's just re export it again. The shirt. There we go. Re import the shirt. Now, yes, you have to change all the animations like that. Luckily for this character, there is only uh, two frames and it will be very easy to replace um, the animations. But uh, once you do it, you only have to do it once uh, rather than importing a, a ton of frames after. Uh, these sprites should also turn with the character. So let me do that now. Horizontally, here we go. Just. Um, 
will be the shirt and the shirt and the pants same thing here okay I think we did that backwards <laughs> I got the shirt twice here it should be a um, pooper jump and um, I paste it twice so I can just change this for shirt and set this to set this to yes flip this horizontally and now we can flip horizontally let me just change the color right now uh, let me change the color of the shirt actually maybe the pants pants and hat green uh, we go red green and blue so let's just make this um, zero zero for the pants there we go and now you can see that uh, he has green pants um, actually you know what I have an idea we can um, we can create a variable for this character and it's gonna be what can we call the variable um, color wow how original so uh, let me create another um, event if you press a key press a key say for example you press uh, W we can add one to that variable variable from super jump color we want to add one to it oops one not a Q there we go add a new condition if that variable reaches a certain value say for example for um, super jump color turns uh, greater than say three okay then we can reset it back to um, we're gonna reset it back to um, to zero equals zero okay now new variable uh, new condition I meant to say okay uh, we're going to compare uh, variables now if variable of super jump color is equals a zero then we can change one color example let me just um, cut this here I guess you cannot paste <laughs> okay uh, sprites effects color uh, color of pants uh, it's gonna be maybe we can make it red by default like Mario so it'll be red green and blue will be the 255 or green of a uh, red semicolon zero zero semicolon in the middle so that by default will be red okay that is our default color if we press uh, the up key we can change the color to something else let me just copy this action the entire action and if it's equals one we want to change the uh, outfit to green zero uh, 255 okay and if it's equals two then we want to change it to red, uh, blue 255 or blue set this to um, zero now if you want to color in between you can add different values to to the red and green okay example I'm going to do that now three if we get to three then we can change these to, um, let me see what can I some, some sort of strange color maybe fuchsia there you go 
which is uh, 255 of um, okay, 200 of uh, blue and 255 of um, green. So I mean red or red, I meant to say. 255 of this and 204. Two or five of a blue. So now I'm going to uh, press up. You can see that I um, can change colors. Da 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 da. All right, you can see that where I'm going with this. So there you go. Um, that's how you do that. Very simple. Okay. You can uh, jump around and do all sorts, of all kinds of things. Uh, if you want the animations, um, just do the animations. For now, it's not too bad. Uh, you can do this shirt if you wanted to. So there you go, guys. But remember, G Develop is free, and you can sell your games. Okay, so if you're interested in making your own games, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Also, there is a bell next to the subscribe button. Um, yeah, click on the bell. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.